Jamie Carragher launched a scathing attack on Casemiro last night after Manchester United's 4-0 defeat at the hands of Crystal Palace. It was a shocking performance all round from the Red Devils, but Carragher singled out Casemiro for criticism on Sky Sports Monday Night Football. He was embarrassingly dribbled past for Michael Olis's brilliant first solo goal, which left him flawed after attempting to tackle the winger. And in total, he was dribbled past eight times on the night, which is the most times a player has been beaten in a match in the Premier League this season. After the game, Carragher said it was time the midfielder called it a day on his glittering career. The former Liverpool man suggested the Brazil man makes a move to the MLS or the Saudi league as he is, in his view, no longer a top-level midfielder. Read more on Man UTDWORST case Man United fans demand Casemiro retires after a lie sends him back to Brazil notorious win Conor McGregor's stunning Lamborghini Urus or £175,000 alternative from 89p Carragher said. I said at half-time H's, Ten Hag, got to bring Casemiro off. I know H has got kids on the bench but I think Casemiro, deadly serious, should know himself tonight as an experienced player that he should only have another three games left at the top level. The next two league games and the FA Cup final. And he should be thinking I need to go to the MLS or Saudi. I'm deadly serious. H is aging. The people around him they need to tell him this has to stop. We are watching one of the greats of the modern time playing in one of the best midfields we've seen who dominated Europe. Him holding, Tony, Kroos to one side, Luka, Modric to the other was one of the best midfields. Could easily go up against the Barcelona midfield we all loved, with Sergio, Busquets, Xavi and Andres, Iniesta. Most read in football read the riot ACT shut up and get off the pitch fumes Carragher as he calls out United flops hammer gone West Ham confirm Moyes will quit in summer with Lopetegui set to take over siege of Wembley I fled as hooligans stormed Wembley Stadium like zombies, hurled blast wet leg huge EFL playoff clash postponed as furious fans blast absolute joke casino special, best casino welcome offers H has been an absolute great. I am nowhere near on a level of what that man has achieved. Champions Leagues, playing for Brazil, playing for Real Madrid. But I always remember something when I retired myself, there was a saying I always remember as a footballer, leave the football before the football leaves you. Manchester United's fall from glory since Sir Alex Ferguson, the football has left him at this top level he needs to call it a day at this level of football and move. Casemiro was one of Eric Ten Hag's first statement signing and joined from Real Madrid for £70 million in 2022. He is one of United's top earners and believed to be on around £350,000 a week. The midfielder brought a wealth of experience with him to United, having won five Champions League titles with Madrid and three Spanish leagues.
but he will now no doubt be in Sir Jim Ratcliffe's crosshairs as the British businessman continues his overhaul of Manchester United this summer. Getting rid of him could prove to be tricky, given the fact he is on massive wages and still has two years left on his deal, with United still having the option to extend his contract by another year. Carragher suggested the club should look at tearing up Casmiro's contract when he said, he will have earned a right few quid, good luck to him. They pay him off and they do some sort of deal but the level of that player he should not be putting himself through this. Read more Sun stories Wowie Towie legend James Argent shows off his ripped arms in new snaps taken by Xtune in free upgrade for all Amazon Fire Stick owners adds 7 live TV channels H is too good of a player to put in a performance like that and be laughed at by Crystal Palace. H is not playing Manchester City, H is not playing Real Madrid, all due to Crystal Palace. A man of that level should not be going through what H is going through. He needs to call it a day. Pundit's verdict on Ten Hag's future Where do the pundits stand on Eric Ten Hag's Manchester United future Jamie Carragher? Sack, I don't see how Eric Ten Hag stays. It's just performance after performance. Gary Neville, stay if he wins the FA Cup to sack a manager who's won two trophies in his first two seasons at the club I think would be extreme. Louis Sahar. On the fence I don't see it as clearly but they need changes from the players but they need changes from him as well. Alan Shearer. Sacked I believe the future of the Man United manager is already determined. Even if they win the FA Cup I think H is gone. 